was the fresh air, tender kiss. There's a pub down here called the Kiki. Oh, okay. It's called the Castle. One stolen night of bliss. Well, this was the hub of the universe for us, not years ago. I don't know. Jake used to pop over here from time to time. I'm you just go straight in here, wouldn't you? Wouldn't go anywhere else. Would you? Well, we go in here, yeah. and there was the Isle of Lonsdale yeah. and the Princess Alex as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and of course the Elgin as well. Yeah. I always remember the Lonsdale because it's all I always used to see was Lemmy on the machine. Lemmy on the machines, yeah. on the fruit machines, yeah, and in the Alex as well. <laughs> Mad. Yeah. yeah, but we had some great times in here because we, in this pub we could do exactly what we like, couldn't we? And the landlord was good. Yeah. yeah. And Paul. even had Joe Strum. I got pictures because Joe Strum playing live in here. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. He turned up one. That? Well, it was a ruffians, old ruffians cricket club. Was our oh, cricket yeah, yeah. club. And Phil Rambo was playing in there. And Joe walked in. I said, "Sing a song, Joe." And he said, "Yeah." So we got up. He did three numbers in there. Of course, everyone was like, "Well, people who knew Paddy's didn't know the fact what." But <laughs> the English boys it could have been anyone. But well, you know, there's some trendies who thought, "Well, they were." Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was like in the biggest band in the world. And he just, you know, he played jungle part, and he played, and he played. All the acoustic guitar is fucking brilliant. All that can be seen at the Ruffle Gallery, by the way, with photographic uh, evidence of that. You can't be. <laughs> in terms of, in terms of, 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 of time from, from hanging around this area at that time, I suppose. I don't know that the, there's the area does have. I, mean, I suppose it still has a lot of character, but back then there was a kind of there was all sorts of different levels, um, and. Um, you know, there's a big kind of squatting scene. There was there was the kind of rock and roll things going on. Um, of course, all the Afro-Caribbean stuff. Yeah. Uh, and and I suppose like in lots of ways, what I write about is those parts of London where all these things sort of rub up against each other. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I I've, I've written a bit about this area, but not very much. Uh, I mean, R Rackman, of course, turns up in the first book, and. Um, you know, the, the, the feeling of, of kind of West 11 around that time was, 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 was very different than it is now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Rackman himself is an extraordinary sort of character. And, and the people he had as his, um, as, his, as his rent collectors, like Michael X. Uh, he was Michael De Freitas back then, just off the boat from Trinidad. A bit of a wide boy, who then becomes like Britain's kind of black power leader. <laughs> um, so I'm always interested in how these things... Because I think there's a danger with people feeling that that everything can slot into its own place. Uh, but the thing about London generally is that you're going to get high and low yeah. and, uh, and, and, and legitimate and illegitimate kind of um, rubbing up against each other. Um, and certainly, uh, certainly Ray's a very good example of that as well. Well, I think. but I, I, it's just no use to have all sorts in you. You, you have lords and ladies. Jock summed it up and said, uh, Will lords and boards rub shoulders with the pride of London's building sites? That's a good quote, isn't it? Who's that? Jock. Who's Jock? Jock Scott. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we don't see much of him anymore. No, no. Well, there's a lot of people we don't see anymore. Uh, 